So a huge black bear is chasing you. Or you're stuck in the forest during a wildfire. Or your hands are trapped in a cable tie. Or maybe all at the same time. So you're having a day, huh? No matter how hopeless the situation might seem, there's always a smart way out. Find out how to save yourself. Pay attention! If you're trapped under an avalanche, spitting can help you out. As soon as you stop moving, make a little hole around your face. Spit in the air pocket and see where gravity carries your saliva. Then start making your way out by digging in the opposite direction. If suddenly you notice that the water recedes quickly and unexpectedly from a beach, exposing the ocean floor, you should warn everyone around and get away as fast as you can. Because when the water line is abnormally far from the shore, this is a sign of a tsunami. No air pump and a flat tire is a bad combo when you're far from home. To fix your bike, grab a bunch of grass or leaves and evenly pack the tire with as much as possible. That will be enough to reach a safe place. Now, do you know any other tricks to fix a flat tire without an air pump? Share your wisdom in the comments below. If you're under attack by a moose, those creatures are huge. Try to hide behind a tree. Those animals have a blind spot in their peripheral vision, so they will lose you and you can escape easier. If a black bear is chasing you, remember that you shouldn't turn your back on this animal or try to run. Either of these actions can make them hostile. Your best bet is to lie flat on your stomach to protect your organs, crossing your hands behind your neck to guard your arteries to convince the bear you don't pose any threat. Also, don't climb a tree. They do it better than you. Oh, and if you see Yogi Bear, don't try to look like a picnic basket. He'll steal you every time. In case of emergency water landing, don't inflate your life jacket before getting out of the plane. You'll end up not being able to move without help since you'll float up to the cabin ceiling. The safest thing to do is take a deep breath and swim out of the airplane, taking your deflated life jacket with you. Only when you're out of the plane, you can finally pull the inflation cord. If you're in a cold house and no heating or electricity is available for some reason, find a few large bricks, a terracotta pot, and some candles. Light the candles and put the bricks around them. Then cover the candles with an upside-down pot, placing it on the bricks. Now you have a DIY heater that can heat a whole room. If caught in a fire, keep low to the ground. The greatest threat comes not from the fire itself, but the smoke. Since it's lighter than air, it goes up, so you should stay as close to the floor as possible to avoid breathing it in. If you're accidentally caught in a rip current, don't try to fight it and swim straight back to the shore. You'll just get exhausted too soon. Instead, try to swim parallel to the shore until you exit the current, and only then move toward the shore. If you're trapped on thin ice and there's no one to help you, lie down on your stomach and spread out your arms and legs. If you have ice picks, use them as a grip to get back to safety. If you don't have them, then you'll have to roll away in the same direction you came from. This will help to spread out the weight of your body evenly. If you're in a sinking vehicle, you'll probably try to just open the door, but water pressure won't let you. You can do it only when the car is filled with water and the pressure equalizes. If you're stuck, break the window. But do it the right way. Hit the window not in the center but on the edges. If you manage to remove the headrest from the seat, then use it to break the glass. The headrests are different depending on the car model, so make sure you know how to remove the ones in your car. If someone is keeping you against your will and your hands are tied by a cable tie, first untie your shoelaces. Slip one of them through the cable tie loop and then secure it to the other shoelace tightly. Now, keeping your hands close to your chest, kick both legs as if you're cycling. The friction created by these movements should make the cable tie snap. If you hear the security announcement while traveling by plane and the emergency exits are made known, be sure to count how many rows it will take to get to the closest one. If the plane gets filled with smoke, or there's no light during the evacuation, you could count the number of headrests until you reach your exit. Your pre-planned counting could also help others get out. If in an emergency, you need to get through a locked door, kick hard right next to the handle near the lock and avoid using your shoulders or back. The lock will break more easily. 
Not running away from a pack of wolves might sound like a very bad idea, to say the least. But it will, in fact, eventually make them back off. Their instinct is to chase their prey. If you stand your ground, they probably won't risk it. If you happen to start choking when no one is around to help, you can perform the Heimlich maneuver on yourself by using a hard surface, like the back of a chair or a table. Push one fist with your other hand into your stomach while bent over a hard surface. When you're diving out in the open water and suddenly see all the fish have disappeared or started jumping out of the water, get to the shore quickly. It means that sharks are getting closer. The same sign works for the forest with smaller animals and predators. Sudden quietness? Run to find a shelter. If you're caught in a raging fire, you should immediately protect your lungs from toxic ash, smoke, and dust. In this case, a bra will save the day. Use one of its cups as a debris mask by covering your nose and mouth with it. Secure the straps around your face to attach it to your head. As for the guys, well, you could start wearing one just to be on the safe side. If you don't have the right batteries for vital devices such as radio or flashlight, you can use shorter batteries with a little trick. Take a piece of aluminum foil and fill the gap in the battery compartment with it. Got lost? Use your watch as a compass. In the northern hemisphere, align the hour hand with the sun. South will be at the point halfway between the hour hand and the number 12. In the southern hemisphere, align the number 12 with the sun. To get clean water, take two containers. One should be taller than the other. Fill the taller one with dirty water and place a piece of cloth in it sticking the other end in the other container. After some time, the water will filter itself through the cloth, leaving all the dirt in the first container. But you still have to boil the water. You know, for the little microbes that are still in it. If you're looking for a place to hide inside your house during a tornado, choose a bathtub. It's the safest place in any home, since a tub is well anchored to the ground. Besides, most bathrooms have strong framing, and the pipes help keep their structure together. So, good luck with all that. I hope you never need any of it. But hey, be safe out there! Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!